vertical reading is a reading of three same numbered cantos from each of the three canticles of Dante's Divine Comedy. Uh, the Divine Comedy is in three parts, um, Inferno, a journey through hell, Purgatorio, a journey through purgatory, and Paradiso, a journey through paradise. And what we've asked our lecturers to do uh, in this series is to read a canto from each of those three journeys together. So starting with Inferno 1, Purgatorio 1 and Paradiso 1 and then just continuing right the way through the volume. Yeah, yeah and the reason we, we thought to call them vertical, because there are other options, they've been called parallel, they've had all different kinds of names, and that um, we liked this notion of the vertical by thinking also of an art historical context. So if you think about the Baptistry of San Giovanni in Florence, a place that Dante knew really well, you have these horizontal bands of narrative placed one over the other. And of course, you're meant to read vertical correspondences uh, through those bands as well. So um, that was one way of thinking. Yes, it's a way of um, starting over and exploring the poem afresh, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, no matter how long they've been working on Dante, when they come back and they say, well, what if I just read Inferno 3 against Purgatorio 3 against Paradiso 3 and kind of throw out all of our you know, ideas that we bring with us and just start afresh with those three cantos, something new always comes up. The notion of publishing in open access was really the, the, the idea that made the most sense to us and made the most sense for what we're trying to do and that we wanted to um, allow this experiment and the results, the interest, really interesting and fruitful results of this experiment to be available to as many people as possible. And although and, uh, um, Heather's already said that um, vertical reading for single cantos have been done before, um, this is the first time that this method has been applied across the whole poem systematically. And it has been an experiment, but it's an ongoing experiment. We're hoping that um, scholars are going to continue to use this technique in their work. So the fact that all of these chapters are going to be freely available, um, easily accessible to scholars, enables this, this mode of reading to become part of um, the study of Dante. And also we have a, a, an online index of other vertical readings. So the collaborative enterprise can continue through the OBP publishing model and people can add more readings and refer to readings. So we're tremendously grateful to, to OBP um, for making that possible and uh, enabling us to continue the, the project in, in that way.